Hello and welcome to some Gen 4 racing here at Dover here on a midday Friday. We are the number one car in a hundred lap race here in this one. And uh, we've actually got Nick Nieben in the race as well. Just complete coincidence. Um, I wanted to do a race. I uh, haven't really felt the itch to race too much lately. Um, just found myself occupied thinking about other things, but uh, thought today was a good opportunity since I have some time. And uh, kind of a, a, I think it might be a single split race here. 1.8k strength of field, so nothing too crazy here, but uh, we do have some fast drivers. Uh, at the top of the list, green flag, green flag. Okay. and uh, me, flag. the outlier, I guess. <laughs> well, maybe not so fast, but we're going to try to do some qualifying. I think I overdrove one and two right there, which I did very massively, so we're going to get another run to the line. That feels like it's a little tighter than uh, I was expecting. But that's fine, we'll get a run to the line. And then uh, slow it down a little more. P5, you've just done a 23.0. We've got to fight the wheel a little bit. Really loose here at Dover. Yeah, that was uh, the track was a lot tighter than I expected it to be there. P2. Uh, we'll get P2 just a little bit off of first place there, the number four. We'll see uh, how high up the list we stay. I guess I should do a practice pit in. Dover, very difficult place to get into the pits. So we'll see uh, how well I can do that. I've actually kind of underdriven the entry to pit lane the couple of times I've practiced so far, just because I know you have to slow it down all the way to 35, and I've kind of been overdoing it a little bit. But I guess I'd rather do that than speed. We will see if we can push a little bit harder, though. Also, don't want to hit those barrels. Yeah, there. See, I kind of could have pushed a little bit harder there. As long as we get to pit road safely, if we ever need to, that should be fine. Uh, we'll say good luck to Nick. Who uh, looks like he's not qualifying, probably going to start in the back. He might even be having some quality issues with his internet. Looked like it was yellow there for a second, so hopefully he's able to stick around for the whole thing. Uh, P3 is looking good to me right now, um, starting on the inside. I think I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, it's a pretty full field uh, for a single split. 25 cars, I think that's about everybody that signed up. So we'll see what happens. Um, got the number three in here as well on the pole. I think he does like some work for some real life teams or something. I don't know him too well or anything, but uh, I feel like I've seen his name before. Um, I definitely have him out on the track, and uh, he's fast here. About a tenth faster than I was. He wasn't feeling the tight racetrack quite as much as I did, or uh, at the very least was uh, able to keep up with it a little better. I thought with the track being cool, maybe we would have uh, a lot, uh, some good turn in the corners, a lot of grip, and so maybe I overdrove it a little bit in anticipation of that possibility. But P3, if that sticks, will be just fine. Got the four. I guess he's just did one lap and now he's going to stop. Because uh, he should have done a second lap by now. So we're probably going to have to wait the next 42 seconds, but that's okay. Uh, I know Nick wasn't planning on putting a lap out. Or at least it didn't look like it. Unless he changed his mind. Because I saw the black flag up there. Which is usually what you do when you want to run out there on the track but not actually put laps in. But either way, we got like a whole bunch of people in here that aren't actually in here. Maybe uh, doing the thing where they intentionally lower their I rating. Not sure. It's definitely single split. We got 700, 800 I rating guys at the bottom. Kind of a, a strange field here. 
single split and a lot of people not even showing up which is kind of funny so b3 so i'm okay with that hopefully we'll be all right i want to kind of try to be nice to my tires early on hopefully the guys behind me aren't uh, in too big of a rush to run me over if we do that and hopefully I don't make any dumb mistakes having not raced as much lately could not mean I'm a little rusty and I uh, make a mistake so hopefully that's not what happens 100 laps about 63 of them on a tank of gas it looks like so we'll have to pit at some point for fuel whether it's under green or under caution conditions We'll be ready for that. Only two sets of tires, and tires really burn off here at Dover, so got to be smart about how we treat those. Not quite sure what to expect with a single split. It could get messy. It could definitely get really dangerous with lap traffic. Um, I had a race at Darlington. I, I made a mistake because I was uh, getting past slower traffic, and uh, I wasn't careful enough. Uh, the guy was... Uh, he kind of didn't hold his line, like, or at least the line I was expecting um, at Darlington as a lap car, and he, he, I expected him to fade to the wall, and he kind of kept it like glued to the bottom, and I wasn't expecting that, so I went to pass him low, and he was down low, and uh, had a collision with him. I was going to upload that race, but it was uh, the end of the week by the time I actually felt the motivation to upload that, and. Uh, it was like already the next week and it was a race from last week and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> There's some of that lack of motivation I've been talking about. But uh, that ruined my race because I was in a good spot and uh, it was during green flag pit stops and because a caution came out while I was a lap down and it was in the 87 Legends, um, I couldn't get back on the lead lap, so that stunk. So, all that to say... If we do get some dangerous lap traffic here, I'm going to be very, very careful and not make any assumptions as I'm passing by. Because uh, it doesn't really matter who's at fault if my car ends up broken anyway. So let's try, and, uh, try not to uh, end up with a broken car and be extra careful. Is this a single split? It is a single split. Looks like it. Alright, hopefully we'll get ourselves a good jump. Looks like we're pretty low RPM in second gear here, but uh, I'm still going to be careful once the RPMs go up. 1800. Hey, 20, you're an idiot. I'm not even going to lie, man. Something's happening already back there. Um, we haven't even started. <laughs> That's not a good sign. 20, 20. It's just eating the ass of the four, I think. Green flag, green flag. Oh, what this guy's doing, he's like blocking. But we're underway here. Not much of a hurry, it was just looked unstable. It was like driving in my lane. But we're gonna try to be nice to the tires. Um, use light throttle through these corners. We already have lap traffic somehow. Oh, did Nick start from the pits? What's going on there? Interesting. Maybe something happened under pacing that he got involved in. Something, you know, I know someone said like 20 or dumb or something before the race even started. That would be some pretty awful luck if he had to deal with something there before the race even starts. No clue. But we're just gonna hang out for now. Okay, Colton, we're matching race pace. Try not to kill the tires. All that good stuff. Two might be looking to get by me. 
He would like to, that is perfectly cool for me. And a caution. I was going to say, there's no way he was getting out of that without bringing up the yellow. Alright. See some smoke, something must have happened. Uh, probably someone snapping on exit. So many people you see snapping the car on exit and spinning. Um... It's just so easy to do. You just can't full throttle it. You can't full throttle these exits. You got to be very gentle with the throttle. And lots of guys are like, "All right, I think I'm on the straightaway now," and then they just floor it, and it spins out on them. You might be able to get away with that a couple times if you're like going for a super fast laps. Colin, are you running your Xfinity team this year? Uh. When? I think that's a yes. What was that? I don't know what that guy said. Pit road is closed. Did he say something to me? I wasn't paying attention. You guys are getting tires already? But uh, P3 is still a good spot to be in. Um, I'm not going to be able to make it in fuel or anything. When do we want to pit? I don't know. I think we're going to get too many cautions to have to worry about green flag pit stops. going to check uh, the spin on the tires once more. It might pull left or right a little bit if I'm not careful, so I'll watch out. Thankfully, one to green already, so not too long under caution here. I'm not trying to mess with you too, I'm just clutching. They're ambitious if they think they can make it to the end. I'm not showing anywhere close. Or maybe they just want to be able to go as long as possible this first run, which... You know, maybe there's something to that. That might be smart. I'm not going to concern myself with it right now, though. You'll be lining up on the inside. Race the regime at the end of this lap. I think the two was talking to the number three, maybe. I, said, I thought I heard my name, but I think he might have said Colin, not Colton. Or, I don't know. There's too many similar names. We got Colin, Colton, the other guy's name was Devin, Connor. I'm usually so focused, like, not paying attention to anything that gets said in the voice chat anyway. It's hard for me to focus on both. For example, I have to focus on this restart now. He went pretty early last time, so I gotta be ready. I'm sure why he's on the apron. Remember, my little turn third in the back. Right, he wants by me, that's fine. I'll back off. He seemed like he was kind of willing to go a little faster than I wanted to. Anyway. So that's probably an okay move. Probably smart for everyone involved to get him around me. Some of that caution did really benefit was Nick. He didn't lose his uh, his lap, it looked like. So go get him for me too, presumably he's on the lead lap now. These guys look like they're driving a little bit harder than I would want to right now. Speaking of, guy going to our inside. Put him on by. 
clear. Car inside. These guys are going pretty aggressive early. Still there. They might be expecting. Uh... Still there at the bottom. Oh, he's backing clear off. Inside. Okay. Inside. Um, they might be expecting it to be very hard to pass later. Which could be the truth, but I think I still want to keep my tires happy. I don't want any of the side by side that these guys are going with right now. I see, oh, I thought I saw smoke behind us in the distance, but that might have just been a cloud. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I was getting sideways. I don't really want to be up here, but we are. Clear inside. Car inside. Keep high. Clear. Very looking like he might be uh, trying to save tire. Still there, inside. Still inside. Inside. Back in third. Keep hustling. Keep high. Stay high. He's gonna Stay hang high. on our inside. It's cool. I'm just not gonna push too hard. I'll be able to get by him, no problem. Didn't really feel like I wanted to, but he was going a little bit too easy for me down there. Car inside. Still inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear inside. Now he's back to my inside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. That figured out. Alright, now we'll see what happens. It seems like we're finally starting to get sorted out here. People stop uh, tripping over each other. Walbert in front of us. I don't know what sponsor that is, but that sounds like uh, just tempting fate at Dover, a place that it's really easy to slam the wall. To have the word wall in your car prominently. We'll see if he's able to avoid the wall. He looks like he's getting real loose on these exits, though. You two are just going to keep hitting each other? Running into each other back there, apparently. We're P4, that's not too bad. Oh, yeah. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. I kicked out of the game. Uh, still can't make it on gas. I don't think I want to pit here. It's still a little early for me with only two sets of tires. But if we can't make it on fuel anyway, I'm staying out. If I end up the only guy staying out, I will go down pit road to, uh... Pit road coming out of two get behind everybody. Catch up, seven, car. Hey, car middle of the back. Pit road's open. Hopefully everyone's okay out of that one. Nothing too big back there. No big wrecks can happen at Dover easily. Some of us would like a pit. Not seeing too many pit stops around us. That's not too surprising, kind of what I was expecting. With only two sets of tires, you have to be smart about when you bring it down pit road. And uh, with the messes that we've had so far, not only do we have less laps on these tires we have, but uh, you probably don't want to be back there in the mess on top of that so I'm plenty happy where I am here in fourth I think the six was moving forward a little bit perhaps so he could be trying to go fast once we go green again Let's see Nick is on pit road hopefully he did not get any damage from whatever happened he could also just be filling it with fuel and maybe going for a long stretch. I don't know. I don't think you can make it. 
here, though uh, you can save pretty good at Dover. Have a lot of off throttle time, the six making me nervous. Driving next to me. It's our open. Well, the three was going really easy. He's back in sixth now. He'll be starting restarting right behind us. I think he's he's knowing that we only have two sets of tires as well. I'm probably going really easy on him. That's smart. I just didn't want to get completely swamped back there by a bunch of guys and end up in dangerous situations. So I was going a little bit faster. Nice not to lose all of the track position as well. Got to keep the car clean. We got a lot more laps to do. Be starting fourth this time on the outside. Got to test uh, these tires again. Got even more laps on them. Make sure that they will be ready to go. Seems like it. Go ahead and get in position since we're going to be too wide here as we get the one to green. There might be something to a first gear start, but I'm perfectly fine with second gear here. I think maybe I would only experiment with first gear if I were on the front row. Otherwise, I think uh, second gear is going to work just fine. Especially in a car as powerful as this one. One to go, next time by. All right, one, one to green. Everyone's still on the older tires. I don't think anybody pit back there for tires. Though you never know, that could end up playing off pretty well if we go green at the end, but with this single split, I find that hard to believe. I'm ready to go here. We got some neon numbers here. We got that like highlighter yellow for the two and the four on the front row right here. Just noticed. It's a good it's a good uh color for a number. Very visible. About to go green, stay focused. Alright, let's be ready. The pace car is in. Oh he turned hard left, Sorry, I thought he was going. Good. What is he doing? Where's he hitting the brakes? Green flag, green flag. No, he said sorry. I don't know what it was. It, I saw the hard move to the left, and I thought that he was uh, clear. going. I guess the three wants to go now. I'm just going to keep going the pace I have been, keep it smooth. It still feels good. It's not tight or anything. I haven't really pushed hard at all. It's loose on exit, but not any more loose than it typically is with this combo. Keeping up with 7, who was pushing a little harder earlier, I think.
be interesting to get some laps in now. Get a longer run than we have. The three has not only decided to go, but he decided he wants to go get a lead. Interesting. Yeah, yellow there must have really changed his plans. Seven. Walbert getting a tiny bit of wall there, maybe. Unless it was just the uh, net code. Got some gap behind us, which is nice. I do wonder if there will be anything to running a lane up as this race goes on and everybody runs that bottom line. Probably get some good speed out there. But it's probably less good on the tires still, so I'm not going to be moving up there now. But later in the race, if I have to run a fast lap, or two. Might be something to that middle lane or even running higher than that. I'm going to keep that in mind. Because it looks like everybody's pretty much running that bottom, except when they're side by side. Heating up that bottom lane. About half a second back to the six car and another caution. Alright. I just can't hold it together back there. I think we're pretty close to almost being able to make it on fuel, so I think it's time to pit. If we're coming in, I think we are going to need those tires as well. See more smoke. Outstanding performance. Pit road's open. Don't have a caution for 20 laps challenge level impossible. Pace car in three. So everyone coming in here. He's not. He's the saving a set of tires. Speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. Pit box team, 10. Let's try to have a clean stop. Maybe we'll gain something on pit road. Five, Not that that matters too much. Three, two, one. Right here. 94, 93. Yeah, they were looking pretty good there. Tires were. Move it, move it. Not quite getting around anybody. That's fine. 63 laps. Ooh, that's close. Yeah, we're going to definitely be clutching. 2.2 gallons. 2.2. Estimated needed to make it to the end. I think we probably want to save more than that even, but... Like I mentioned before, you can save pretty good here, so... We're gonna do that. Full course yellow. Pits are open. We have to hit the brakes. How many people did we have stay out? Last little handful. Could get dangerous, so. Gonna definitely keep a watchful eye in front of me as we go green here. Looks like we're P7. I think we had three people stay out. Yep. No idea if they pit or not. I can't see it on Race Lab.
Hopefully everyone knows the situation. Pits are open. Some older tires Pass up in peak. front Go. of us. Two gallons. Now the two gallons it's recommending. One left to green. Line up on right, the inside. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Looks like it's Walbert <laughs> out front. That's right, I remember him uh, deciding last second to stay out. I'm a little scared about this restart, I'll be honest. Hopefully you guys are ready for uh, any tire spin they might experience. Alright, here we go. Potentially big danger point in the race here with differing strategies coming together. Okay, ready. Going no, we will extra space. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, 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 green. Spinning his tires. That's what I was worried about. I get past these slower cars. 17, I don't know what he's doing. Pace cars out. Line up single file behind car number zero four. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. You had no business staying out, 15. Yeah, 15. You are second back. Whoa, third, Jesus! This one. 16 to stop almost uh, hit me. Six, Christ, that's like the third time he's almost done that. I thought I'm going four wide. I said, "Yep, yeah, here we go." Thanks for not plowing into me, 19. I knew that open. was uh, pretty hairy. That's why I left space. I knew there could be guys that spin their tires, and I'm glad I did. I don't even know how the hell I made it through there. Doesn't make any sense for those guys to pit now. I mean, the, the, any bonus they had there I by staying out is null because we had a caution immediately. So that was completely pointless, everything they did there. Unless they plan on not taking tires still right now and just want to go to the back, which is something I would have done in the first place if uh, I wanted to not take tires this early just go to the back or else you're putting yourself in a, a dangerous position position and uh you're gonna end up in the same spot anyway so i don't get that but we are back to fourth and uh, we've got the tires on it so things are looking a little bit more like they did before we pit rolling around here saving fuel Still pretty close. Coming to line here, we will have 61 laps to go, and according to iRacing's calculator, we have 60.8 right now. This is a place you can kind of coast through the corner <laughs> as well. If you run out of gas on the middle of the back stretch, you just, you know, coast through uh, three and four, Full make it to the end. Obviously, you'd prefer not to have to do that. Hey, Kodiak 12 car, man. I've raced with you before. You're fast here. You're good here. Just a little bit more patience, man, and you'll be pretty good. Just a little bit. You're an idiot. Should be getting two to green. Damn. Well, that's it. But just a little bit more patience. We're under caution. Good. It's closed. A lot more patience because you only have a couple more days. But just a little bit more patience. 100 laps, man. 100 laps. Turn the fan on here real quick. Hopefully, don't run into the wall while I do that. Fun running with the guys in the who qualified top 15. All right. Catch the ball, car.
We'll be coming to the line when we go green here with 59 to go. I don't think we're going to go green to the end still, but we are positioned to make it if we do. Still going to be saving tire. In case it does go green. Got the three in first place. Okay, Colton. Pit One left to green. Line up on the Race outside. In this lap. Is Nick still back there? He's down there in 13th, it looks like. Hopefully without any damage. Able to avoid all the nonsense going on back there. Hopefully we can actually have some good racing here. And he'll have a video to upload. I know sometimes he chooses not to upload if it's just a horrible race overall. I tend to upload all of them, unless, uh, like the situation with the 87 Legends of Darlington, it was like the middle of the next week. Can we go 20 laps without crashing, please? Is any one of the guys that led to the caution in there? I mean, I guess he wasn't. He stayed out, but... I don't know why he would be asking for that unless he took tires here. I think anyone that stayed out is hoping for more cautions. Alright, enough worrying about that. We got green going there. Okay, get around him. I think he stays back there if he wants to be more aggressive. Ten coming out of the pits. We are got in the wall there. It looked like. Feeling pretty good about how my tires looked that last run. I was on the right rear more than the right front, which is ideal for me. I'm happy with that. I think uh, if the run were to go longer, it probably would balance more onto the right front eventually, as the car gets tighter. So the fact that I was a little bit more on the right rear, I think, was a promising sign. First, who knows? Dover, uh, Dover can be bad on the right rear sometimes too. So maybe I'll be wishing I had more grip on throttle or on exits later in the run. But I'm gonna keep going how I have been. Three is content just driving out there, it looks like. I've only got one set of tires left, so I'm not too eager to burn these up with potential more cautions on the way. And hey, even with saving tires, we're running a very solid third place right now. We got some smoke though. Uh oh, Nick's on pit road. Something might have happened. That sucks. Looks like there might have been a crash that didn't bring out a yellow. It's just so dangerous when you don't qualify at a place like this, in a single split like that, I mean, you're going right in the middle of the scariest part of the track at the back of the field. 
as much as I would like to start in the back and be patient a lot of the time, I just feel like it's more dangerous than just qualifying and dri driving a little bit harder sometimes. Because you get some nonsense up front too, plenty of times, but uh, you got guys that just can't even make it a lap or two without spinning themselves out in the back, then you find yourself having to dodge all that. That's what makes me very hesitant to forego qualifying, especially as a lower car number in races like this, like being the number one, I'll probably end up in the middle of the field anyway. Yeah. All right, halfway. What's our fuel situation looking like, by the way? We've got 48 to go. Is that is that what I saw down there? 48 to go at the end of this lap. Yeah, we're looking good on fuel, so that's good. Don't think I have anything to, to worry about there. It's actually ending up looking like we have better mileage than I expected. It's saying all the way down to 0 0.5 now, and I'm thinking that'll be sounding better every lap anyway. Go high. The four behind us, he seems content to ride for now. Though he has been pulling a little bit closer. Looks to me like that three might be coming back to us a little bit. Seems to push a little bit harder at the start of this run. Trying to be real nice to that right front. Drag some brake on the entries. You don't need to here. The banking will catch you, but when it catches you, it's catching your car, your big heavy car with the right front tire and putting a lot of strain on it. So dragging that brake on entry, alleviating some of that stress on the right front, I think is a good way to save tire. And then I just kind of like to keep a consistent, I don't know, maybe 33% throttle. I'm not looking at my meter because I can't. I have to watch the corner. But it uh, feels like a 33, 40% throttle through mid-corner. Because again, you can push harder, but it seems to do just fine to get the car turning. Ooh, he's letting, uh, letting the guy by there, letting him by high. Thank you. We might have been looking for a quick caution there. I'm not sure. Or maybe expected his tire to last better than it did. It's going to go high for us. Clear. He's looking to just manage at this point. Try not to uh, lose more than he already has with okay, that tire wear. If I had to guess. Two in the wall a bit. Me too right now, feeling pretty good. Poor car kind of following us back there still though. I think he's probably Looking pretty good for the long run as well. Your last lap time was at trying to make sure I keep it on that lower line where the tires are going to be most happy. Sometimes you need a little bit more brake in order to get it down there, but it's where I want to be. Car will start to try to hit that outside wall too as the run goes on, so I gotta make sure I'm not pushing too hard on these exits. That was at 
Two. Two's doing a pretty good job keeping it up there, it looks like. Keeping it up front. He hasn't been going too hard. He's found himself in a spot where he's maintaining his car condition, tire condition, but also has the best track position you can have. He's looking like the favorite to win at this point. See what I have to say about it, but that'll depend on how well we're able to save here, assuming that we go green a little longer. Alright, Colton, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. That last lap was at 24.3. That's getting tighter. Ooh, we got lap traffic. Oh, wow, what? That's the three. That's interesting. We chose to pit? When we can make it to the end? That's an odd decision. I guess he's thinking that uh, the extra speed he'll have from those fresh tires will work out for him? I don't know. Unless something went wrong. It's a curious decision. I think I'm carrying too much speed through the center of the corner. I've got to be easier on the throttle pedal, I think. Got behind about point three, and then we got a second to back to fourth. The and a yellow. Yellow. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. Catch about mm. two. Cars out. Line up single file. Really, really nice Zero, two. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Fortunately, couldn't go green. Well, at least on the caution fell, the majority of the field was able to put on 33 and 66. 67, rather. The hmm. road is now open. It's open. Do we take our final set now? I think we have to. That's frustrating. Too much chance. Get in it, it bro. Let's go. Watch your speed. The leader, Ward, is pitting. Okay, Colton, we'll fuel okay, you to the end sure of the race. Make sure this turns on. I want the fuel. Let's please help the car turn. Extra weight should help get some rotation, I think. I think that's how it works. Should we got tires okay, turned on? Ten. Yes. All right. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Right here. Alright, 86, 88. I was a little harder on the right front that time. I think I was probably putting too much throttle through center of the corner. If I had to guess, I was probably causing some trouble. Move it, move it. You are out of tires. They want you in single file. Alright. Plenty of fuel, obviously, as we filled it up. So that's not going to be a conversation anymore. Do we have guys that are staying out? Yeah, it looks like we are. Yikes. Understandable, but again, like if I were to try to save a set of tires, I would just go to the back. Because that's where you're going to end up anyway, and uh... You don't have to let cars fly past you 30 miles an hour faster to get there, so... Alright. We're going to have to be careful. Looks like we have more cars uh, staying out for a set of tires here. Um, be ready to check up and things on the restart. Half past 15, car. I think there's only two or three out of us on old tires. Yeah, it's the top three. So we got to, we have to survive this again. 
like we will be starting on the inside, P5. I guess that works. Four course yellow, pits are open. I do like the two's uh, scheme. The blue and that, like, uh, highlighter yellow. It's kind of like a greenish almost. Yellow green. These colors go well together. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the 12. It's going to be the guy in front of us. Hopefully, these guys don't spin their tires. But we did see that last time, so I got to be ready for it. Going to leave a little bit of room. It was the 15 who spun his tires last time, who I think was involved in a wreck soon after, if I'm not mistaken, so maybe these guys will be able to handle it a little bit better, but got to watch out for it anyway. Regardless, they're probably going to launch a little slower. Be patient getting by these guys here. Hopefully everyone listens to that and knows that's a... Uh, hey, three, I got to serve a penalty on our green. Uh, Twelve checked up and got new black flag. Get ready. Going All right, green. getting ready. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Outside. What's going on out there? Don't hold your fucking line, dude. Keep low. If you can't drive the car in old tires, don't stay out and wreck the field. Still there. This guy, I gotta get by him quick. He's scaring me. Back in third. Keep hustling. The next car's the leader. Still there. Oh, I guessed it up pretty hard there and got loose. This guy shouldn't be too much trouble to get by. He's on the over tires. You're back in second. Inside. Still there. Clear inside. Got loose again. Yikes. I have good space. That could have been a um, crash on my fault there for getting too sideways. Alright, now we are in control. What the fuck is that about, mate? So we are going to try to maintain our tires, but also try to keep this track position. Because there aren't too many laps left, and there could definitely be more cautions, and we're going to want to be at the front if we're having short runs. So we found ourselves in a good spot because of that restart. Two is over a half second back. I don't know if he got damaged from that transaction or not. But that's not for me to worry about right now. I gotta worry about what I'm doing. Thankfully, we were able to avoid any damage. Oh man, those restarts. Those restarts with guys on older tires up front. Major, major points in the race. Probably the uh, highlights of this race overall, unless some more crazy things happen here. These are going to be what we look back on and say those were the key, key points, key moments, how those shaped up. I think I can probably be pretty aggressive on the exits here. I'm not too worried if this uh, if the car gets too loose. I think uh, it would be worse if the car got too tight. So I'm going to be a little more aggressive on the exits. But then again, maybe I don't need to do that. Because we do have space behind us. So maybe I just slow down. Maintain that gap. Maybe do a little bit of both. That's probably the answer right there. Don't think in terms of black and white. Let's choose the gray option. Up 
then that uh, will be a little, a little more uh, aggressive on the exits, but not overdrive this thing. Not clear, 21. Not Kruger 21. I wonder if they're wrecking. Hopefully not. I think I like the position I'm in here, if we can go green. They are catching up to me a little bit. Before maybe maybe pressuring the two. Forcing his hand. Causing him to drive faster. I think I want to drive a little bit higher up the track. It feels like that lower line might be uh, losing its luster. It's certainly faster. Have to get past the 22 here. He's going high, I think. Middle. Clear out guard if you want to. Not really sure. We get by it. The lap time was at 23.5. Okay, Colton. Lap time's pretty good. Hey, Dan, I got you. Does feel like we got more uh, grip in that middle or higher lane. So, what about that? I don't know. We got 17 to go, I believe. Alright. Keep in mind, I'm left down, already got it fucked up. You can't pass me. Can't Ooh, that's a bad me. corner. I ain't holding you up. I had a bad corner there, it got loose on exit, it didn't counter steer effectively. This is going to be a tough one. You've just done a 3.7. Right back there. More lap traffic coming up. Get a little bit nervous. Jesus Christ, man. Clear up top. Car inside. Clear that inside. That was a dive right there. Where do you want me to go? Low, please. Or not. Car Fucking inside. hell. You're in the middle. Yeah. Three wide. Inside. Two wide. Still there. Is my mic working? Clear. Great job. Get to go. Inside. You're in the middle, three wide. Car outside, two wide. My light might not be working, that sucks. Thanks, Carl.
Okay, I'm going to run this higher line now. Hopefully not fall off too bad by the end of this thing. They're side by side back there. I'd love to see it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just realized, where do you want me? And I said, hi, please. I think I might have accidentally just told them the wrong thing. It's hard to focus on these things, man, when I'm trying to drive. Alright, we just gotta muscle this thing home. Fight these uh, tires that are starting to feel a little bit worn. I've driven hard in this run for sure. And that right front is hurting, I just can't hit the wall, can't let myself get too tight. Oh, the car is so tight. Still there. Clear inside. But I think. Let me say. Hopefully, I didn't pinch him too hard there. You've got two laps to go. Come on, Colter. Two laps left. Give P1. All right, coming to the white flag. Real nice work. This is the white flag lap. Watch out for any big, big moves. If I just hold it low here, I probably got it. Good win. Oh, a hell of a job of a first, That's second, a third. Great job. Good job, guys. You won. This is what happens when you have the best crew chief. Yeah, sure was. Great race, guys. Yeah, that was a blast. I enjoyed just sitting back here watching you guys. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. I was about to say, same here. Just ride around in fifth and watch you guys do it out. It was pretty cool. And, but I think the, the one was slightly... We just couldn't pass each other. It was hard. I had a feeling it was going to get really difficult to pass, okay, so I knew I had to have that track position. So, uh, thanks for keeping it clean. I know it's definitely tempting to just see how far it'll stick. My first ever race, just bought the track an hour and a half ago. 70-79. Hell yeah. It's a real fun it's a real fun track. I so love we got the track. win. All right. And like I said, it's it, I know it's tempting to like just as the P2 guy just throttle it hard and see what happens, see if it'll stick and that can cause crashes sometimes. So uh I appreciate those guys for keeping it clean. I know the two at one point like I know I I kept them pretty tight on the exit of two and uh, that was definitely one of those situations I've seen wrecks happen before. So um I appreciate him for not just uh, 
driving over, driving crazy, driving more than the car's willing to give and causing an accident. It allowed us to have a pretty good battle there at the end. So, the incidents. Lap 1, we've got the 12 blinking a little bit. We get a caution pretty early too, which looks like it's going to be the 8 losing it out of 4. And uh, I'm guessing he has to back on the track to get it going. And that probably brings out the yellow right there. Nothing he can really do there. He has to get going. So, understandable. 22 under caution getting to the wall. A little proof that uh, this is pretty tough out here. That's right. There was a... Uh, that guy blinks like crazy. I wanted to see that something happened before the start, didn't it? Yeah, what's happening here? <laughs> That's 20 running into the 17. Almost running into the 8. Just, I don't know, not paying attention. Okay. I was just curious what happened there because I heard complaining before the race even started. I was just... Wondering what about. So back to it. Lap 11. 25 gets the wall. Nick stuck behind him. Just being a patient. Just being patient, not uh, forcing himself around. Probably a good call. We'll eventually see what happened to him. Some team blinking, or that's a 12 blinking. The 17 approaching him. The 20, way too hard on the exit and into the wall. The 8 gets into the back of them, but no caution. Everyone's heading the right direction still. The 20's entering at the bottom of the track. What is going on here? So these must be the guys that they were saying, you guys just going to keep running into each other? And, uh... I'm guessing the answer is yes. So the 20 slams the outside wall, the 8. What are these guys doing? <laughs> that is a, a big mess. And of course Nick stuck behind it. That's what I was talking about, man. That's why it's, it's hard for me to justify... Wow, that is ugly. Nick got a... I mean, that was obviously intentional. Nick got a front row view of that. Just a bunch of stupidity there. And uh, bringing out caution, so uh, affecting the race for everybody else because you can't hold your temper. 25, pulling it off the wall. Classic issue with this car body. Pulling it off the wall and uh, causing a wreck. So we are three wide for some reason. 12's never going to get it to stick all the way down there. What are we doing? What a mess Nick is having to deal with back here. I mean... Where where does it start? Like, why is the 12 going three wide there? Is my question. Like, why? why? <laughs> you, can't, you cannot enter the Dover Corners stuck to the bottom like this. This is not a super speedway. That's just never going to work unless you just slam on the brakes. And uh, he finds that out as he drifts all the way up into the 15. Nick maybe gets a piece of it there. I'm sure he's not happy dealing with that. 21 losing it, trying to get around it and finding the 15. Everyone trying to get this wreck over with. And then here, I presume, is what happens to Nick. Oh, no, that was some sort of equipment failure. That sucks. That Obviously, he went straight out of the corner there. Yeah, there's no turn. Oh, no. Hopefully, that's not going to be an ongoing issue for him. He has to stop on the track, but... Gets out as quick as he can, does not bring out the yellow, but that's what happened to him. I thought for sure he was going to get caught in something that happened, but no, it looks like uh, some of uh, his wheel disconnected. Twenty-two getting loose and wrecking, out of the corner. Fourteen haven't seen him yet. Just a wall hit, maybe. Yeah, nothing big there. 
Seems to be having a nice top 10 run. More blinking. Some team's just going to run over the 19. I could see that coming from a mile away. The uh, 19 entering way low. He got loose out of the corner, so he has to take a shallower entry. And I think it's the 17. You kind of have to know that he's going to be slower because you can't take the proper angle in the corner. So you have to adjust your entry speed. And it didn't look like he was ready to do that. And uh, this car body, you just hit somebody from by behind and they're done. So clearly an accident, though. 16's weaving all over and then coming down and hitting three. Not great. Three, that time was on the three. He kind of just comes up. Uh, the 19's much slower. He's trying to cut down under him, but can't quite do it. Just runs out of the back of him. So I think this is a point where the three has fresher tires or something. So he just he gets up to him real quick. 14 finding the wall again. What's happening to Walbert? I never did see Walbert hit the wall. Oh, 14's going to hit the Walbert, though. Nothing too big. Guy's getting around him there. 21's going to push up and door him. That was not quite necessary. But they're still heading the right direction. This guy's blinking. What does the 17 do here, lap 88? We're getting closer to the end of this race. Oh, wow. Very dangerous moment there. The top five car getting around lap traffic. Got some severely uh, high speed difference. These guys looking like their car is super tight. Really struggling to get it through the corner. 22 reaching the lap car. He's going to get the wall, though. Nearly spin it again. Milk duds. Grab some wall on entry, and that pulls him up to the high side. Move along. Is that going to be it? That is going to be it. All right, so we get the win. We had to fight hard for it. Um, I knew I had to have that track position, so um, I, once I got it, thanks to that uh, messy restart, I knew that uh, I was in a good spot, so I guess we can go ahead and look at that restart from an outside perspective, because that was, as I was kind of suggesting before, a huge crucial moment in the race. So these guys struggling to get the power down, see the guy in front of us, the uh, Walbert guy nearly spinning it out, you got P2 there spinning his tires, ooh, the two's lucky you didn't get a... Uh, black flag passing just as they get past start finish line there I answer really low so I have to back off real hard so it's just big big mess but thankfully everyone was kind of ready for it expecting it to happen you can see I <laughs> I give a huge amount of room here because I don't know if this guy's gonna pull it off the wall hit the two and then bounce him off so I'm thinking like I gotta give a huge amount of space and then just keep it down at the bottom there. And uh, thankfully through all of that, I'm able to get to the inside of the two and be in a good spot as I kind of trap the two behind the Kodiak car there. And not really, the Kodiak car drove in so hard. Get to his inside. And uh, there's the track position I needed. 12 holding on really tight. But uh, tires just too much for him. Here's where I get really loose because I just gas it up pretty hard because I want to clear him. <laughs> Nearly uh, spun myself right there. But uh, Feather did as much as I needed to. And then uh, what ends up being the pass for the, uh, the win, I guess. You can see I kind of take a higher entry and then realize he's slow enough I can just get around the outside. The plan was uh, I was expecting him to carry enough speed that I would uh, exit high, get the run out, and then pass him on the inside, but I could see he was just slow enough in the corner with the older tires. I could just go around his outside. Again, I got super loose, too, on that exit on the high side. Hopefully able to hold on to that. Had to wheel it a little bit, but uh, hey, we got it done. So there is your finishing 
order right there and I will go ahead and bring up the race results page as well here on the what do they call it the UI yeah the UI <laughs> so we gain 24 I rating in this one so not a huge haul for a win because but that was only because it was a 1866 strength of field you can see here our fastest lap was lap 74 because that's when we started pushing near the end 116 championship points and uh, we had ourselves a good race there with uh, the two and the four appreciate them for that keeping it clean um, very hard to pass it over unless you got a big tire advantage and uh, there is the rescue field a couple guys that didn't start and a couple people that uh, ended up wrecked out including Nick which really stinks because uh, it looked like he had equipment issue right there so that will do it for this one thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed some Gen 4 racing action, <laughs> and uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.